YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Um, I just wanted to do a video, um, kind of for beginners. I've been getting some requests on kind of makeup that beginners should use if they don't want to spend a lot of money. And you know, since I am a beginner myself, um, I don't really have very expensive things, uh, makeup products. So I'm just gonna share like kind of like a beginner starter kit, um, things that you can get to help you start makeup until you get good at it and comfortable and know what you're doing and then you, if you want you can start buying the expensive stuff so uh, let's get started I have all my stuff right here um, so I guess I'll start with um, foundations um, some good foundations that I recommend um, drugstore foundations are the Revlon Color Stay um, these you can find at Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, anywhere really um, and they range from like 9 to I guess $13 so it's not really that expensive um, and they do have a lot um, a better color selection than most other drugstores so you can probably find your color if not you can always mix two colors to get your color um, but this is my color I'm um, 14 cappuccino so I just use this and some other ones that I recently picked up are the Maybelline 24 hour super stay uh, foundation it looks like this and um, they were having a sale so I got two because um, unfortunately with the Maybelline they don't have a wide variety of colors so like I said sometimes you gotta mix so I got the darker one and then the lighter one and I just mix them together and it's my perfect shade and I'm wearing that right now so that's pretty much it for a foundation I don't have any concealers with me but if you wanted a good concealer um, probably just go to the drugstore and get like um, I know they have some uh, CoverGirl concealers, um, you know, pretty much every brand has a concealer that you can get. And then for the brushes, um, I just use this e.l.f. brush, um, just the e.l.f. foundation brush, it looks like that, to apply my liquid foundations. This works really good, um, and you can blend it easily. And another brush that I use, which is dirty, so don't mind that, but this is the stippling brush um, I got from Costa Sense. And this brush is really good for kind of um, uh, airbrushed feel. This is what I use today. Um, you know, just swirl it in, and this is good. Okay, so the next thing I guess I'll do cheeks um, and some really good blush are these um, Wet n Wild color icons like that. This one is the Berry Shimmer 834E, and these are really good um, blushes, and they're very pigmented. Um, they give really good color. And pretty much, you know, every skin tone they have a color for. Like this is this, um, it's like a really bright pink. Um, and it looks like that. But when you blend it out, it looks really pretty. You know, like, you know, just a touch of color, not too much. So, um, this is really good blush for beginners if you don't want to look too overdone. You know, just get something like this. And this retails for about, I want to say, $2.99. So, you know, you can get it anywhere. I got that from CVS. Oh, and the Revlon or the uh, Maybellines, they range from like 9 to 13 also. Um, but a good time to get them is when you get them, they have a buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one free sale. Those are the times to get it because if you need two colors, you know, you get, you know, two for the price of pretty much one. So. Okay, so then I'm going to go to mascaras. Um, these are two mascaras that I really recommend, drugstore mascaras that work really good. This one is um, America's, like, favorite mascara. This is a really good mascara. Um, this is the Great Lash Mascara, the big one. It comes in a pink and green tube like that. I'll show you guys what the wand looks like. It looks like that. So it's really big, but it's really good for kind of making your lashes, you know, fuller and more defined so this is what I use because I hardly have any lashes as you guys can see and then this Fossies um, mascara is really good for volume um, and making them longer so I use this and I know everybody knows about the Fossies so I would get this um, I got this for five dollars you can really catch this for about like five to seven dollars pretty much um, and the wand just looks like that. I did a review on this, but that's what it looks like. And this is a really good mascara for making your lashes longer. And this is good for making them um, kind of fuller and, you know, more volume. So, those are the ones, the mascaras that I use. Um, and then I guess I'll go to my eye products. Um, a good eyeliner is the Wet n Wild eyeliner. It looks like this. I had it in one of my hauls. Looks like that on the inside. Um, it's just a cream liner. 
comes with a brush. Let me get it out. A brush that looks like this. Um, so you kind of just dab it in and, you know, apply it on your waterline or whatever. And this is a really good brush for beginners. Um, and it's really cheap. Wet and wild. You know, they're very inexpensive. So I think I paid like $2.99 for this as well. So it's really good. And um, then some eyeshadows that I have are just the LA Color eyeshadows. They're really good and they're really pigmented. Um, and they are very cost um, cheap. So you could... I think I got these from the dollar store, um, you know, for a dollar, these are really good. Um, I did, I had some swatches, but if you guys want to see any swatches, just let me know. And then some other ones that I know, everyone knows about, um, are the Wet n Wild Color Icon, the, the six eyeshadows that have the shimmer and then the matte, looks like that. Um, these are really good, they're really pigmented, and you know, you can do so many looks. For beginners, I would recommend the the neutral one because you can wear this look every day. Um, I wear it every day going to work and, you know, you can have different looks, but, you know, it doesn't look like you have, you know, too overdone. So, that's what I would recommend for eye um, shadows. And then for bases, um, these are really good. These are NYX Jumbo Pencils, one in milk that everyone has. Um, so that's what it looks like. And then I just have one in slate, which is like a silvery color. It looks like that. But these are really good um, for intensifying color. I know a lot of people use the white ones um, as a base. And you can also use it as kind of like an intensifier. You just put it before you put on your eyeshadow. And it kind of makes the color pop just a little bit more. So I like this. Um, and these are, I think, like $2. You could get them at the Beauty Supplies. Um, I know some people get them at like Rite Aid, but I can never find them, so I have to order mine online. So that's what I do. And what I don't have with me is I don't have an eye primer, but a good eye primer that is inexpensive is the e.l.f. eye primer. Um, it's only a dollar, and it's really good. It does increase on me, so I would recommend that. You can get that by going on e.l.f. eyeslipsface.com, or you can go to Target and get it. So, um, and then another face product uh, um, face primer that you can get if you don't want to spend a lot of money like I said this is the monoset chafing gel it looks like that and um, you can use this as a face primer um, I know you like okay chafing gel no I'm not putting that on my face but it has the same exact ingredients that say makeup forever all matte has or you know the L'Oreal Studio Secrets has everything it has the same ingredients and it works really good so this is a good drugstore product. You can get this at any drugstore. It's only $5. Um, so this is really good. And it saves you a lot of money. And it's a pretty big tube. So you have this for a while. So this is what I use. Um, and then a couple of eyeshadow brushes. Uh, good ones are the e.l.f. brushes. Um, I have the eyeshadow brush, which is kind of like the flat one. I have the blending brush, which is good for blending. And then the crease brush. Gets in your crease, gets the color in there. So these are really good brushes. Um, you don't need to have a lot of brushes, but if you just have the essential brushes, then you can make any look work. So those are the brushes. Um, and then this is the powder brush. I don't have any powder with me, but because um, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really use drugstore powder, powder just because I can't really find my shade. Um, you know, I can find my shade foundations, but if they have a powder, usually it's lighter or, you know, it just doesn't work for me. So the powder that I usually use is the MAC Studio Fix. So I use that um, as my powder. And then for some good lipsticks, you can always go for some NYX lipsticks. These are like a dollar or two. Um, and you can get these. They're really pretty colors. They have a lot of different colors. They have a lot of neutrals, um, a lot of bright colors. Like if you want to try a pink lip or a red lip or, you know, whatever. They have those colors. And so that is just, you know, you could go with it. And then the last thing that I have to share with you guys is one of the first things that I bought. And I think the first thing that any makeup person should buy, um, you know, getting into makeup. And this is the Coastal Sense 88 Eyeshadow Palette. I know I showed this before, but... This palette is really good because it has all the colors that you ever need. Um, instead of buying all these single eyeshadows, you can just buy one and it has all of these shades in it. You can do so many looks with this and, you know, 
this is all you need. This is all I had for the longest. And, you know, I have so many looks and it worked for me. So, you know, and this is only like $20. So you don't have to spend a lot. Um, you can get 88 colors for $20 instead of spending like $5 per eyeshadow to get one or, you know, whatever. So, you guys, I just wanted to come and share these things with you guys. Um, let you guys know that there are cheaper things instead of like the MAC and the NARS. And you can still get the same look, guys. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any questions, don't feel um, shy. Just rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.